Hey, my friend, I hope you are doing well. So we are inching towards one of our best months with our brand. And I'm, uh, today I'm going to share with you the best, you know, the top learnings that I've had uh, this month and in the last couple of months uh, while we're building this brand every single day. Now, uh, I've been working on building this brand, uh, you know, for, for more than a year now. And I'm going to say this over and over again, that building a brand is so much different than building a random drop shipping store. I'm sure uh, you've seen people doing that. And in fact, uh, I've shared this with you guys in the past as well, like two years back, two and a half years back, that you just do general drop shipping or do general print on demand and all of that. Uh, but when I look around right now, because I'm not really doing the traditional drop shipping right now, by traditional drop shipping, I mean you find a product and you find a supplier from China or you use your own supplier and you ship directly to your customers and all of that. And you keep testing and the product quality is poor and all of that. So I know some really successful dropshippers who are, who are killing it and people are doing it really well, but they're, they're really paying a price for it. Now, how are they paying a price for it? One, they constantly keep changing their ad accounts because their ad accounts keep get, getting banned because Facebook doesn't like dropshippers. Uh, Facebook doesn't like people who uh, promote really shitty products because then then you know it leads to negativity in the facebook comments and people leave negative reviews on the page and all of that uh, these people but they buy a lot of ad accounts they keep a lot of facebook pages and ad accounts handy they face constant ad bans uh, their ad results are super inconsistent and then their customers don't want to buy from them over and over again their cust their page feedback stores uh, score sucks and payment gateways like paypal and stripe they're not very friendly with these guys because uh, these you know regular dropshippers usually have really high uh, chargebacks and claims and disputes and all of that now nothing is wrong with the dropshipping model you can make great money from it uh, and it works really well but most dropshippers just care about milking the cow and making quick money and they don't really give a f about the customers who pay them the money to run the business and there are very very few people in the space out there who genuinely care for their customers and you know play the long-term game and here's the process that i feel that i found works the best now one, you can start drop shipping whatever you want to drop ship. You can start with print on demand. That's step one. In step two, as you test, you want to find a niche or a product or a set of products that you feel are working the best for you. In step three, what you do is you continue investing in improving this product or design or the customer experience. And then in step four, you build a brand around this. So you start with drop shipping or POD, you see what works, you invest more in it, you make it even better, and then you start building a brand around that niche or that product. This is a process that I'm seeing is doing really well for people right now. Now, if you continue just finding random products and testing them and continue doing that, I'm not saying you're not going to make money. You're going to pay a price for it like I just shared with you because Facebook uh, or the payment gateways don't really like that. If you want to build something long term, you want to have, you want to give a great customer experience, a great customer service. The product quality needs to be great. Your customers need to keep coming back to you. Um, you know, you want to keep, you, you want to keep that in mind. And if you um, want to build a brand with peace of mind, without giving a F or without being, uh, without you know, continuing, continue to be scared from Facebook ad bans and PayPal ad account holds, uh, sorry, PayPal holds and all of that, um, you want to focus on building a brand. And I know that I say this a lot of times that build a brand, build a brand, but let me clarify that what do I mean with building a brand? With building a brand, I mean two things. One, you want to have great products, which means that you want to have the right products with a great quality, with great customer experience. And two, you want to give a great customer experience. I already said that you want to give a great customer experience. So by customer experience, I mean the delivery time, the packaging, the way you give them support, the quality, uh, ease of use, and how sustainable your product is. These things really matter. So your uh, product and the customer experience. These two things really, really matter a lot. And then of course you should, uh, and then the marketing and all of that comes into play. So if you really want to build something meaningful and long term, this is how you do it. You start drop shipping, you find something profitable and scalable. Uh, you invest in, you know, improving the product and the overall experience, and then you build a brand around it. You know, this is how you want to do it. You want to keep it simple and you just want to play this game because this game is long term and every brand out there uh, be it Nike, Reebok, Adidas, iPhone, uh, sorry, Apple, um, Tesla, whatever. Any big brand that you see around yourself, they've done this this way only. 
this is how they've done it you know they start with something they see what works they focus a lot on customer or lifetime value the average order value they focus a lot on uh, repeat customers coming back they focus a lot on customer satisfaction uh, and they play the long term game they don't really start the business to milk the cow within a month or within 6 months they really see the long term game because they want that business to be to sustain and they want that business to become really big and one day you know they would sell the business take an exit or or become a billion dollar company you know that's a vision that uh, the, the biggest brands in the world keep and that's exactly how you should be approaching this as well so thank you for listening to this i'm going to see you in the next one